Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Most low-carbohydrate diets ban white flesh potatoes. Some ban all potatoes for their high starch content, while others allow certain types of potatoes like sweet potatoes. In the U.S., sweet potato and yam are used interchangeably. For this video, sweet potato refers to orange flesh potatoes. This video compares the glycemic index and nutrition values of white versus sweet potatoes. The glycemic index was developed to help type 1 diabetics control their blood sugar and reduce their dependence on insulin. Some low carbohydrate diet plans use the glycemic index as a weight loss tool to reduce blood glucose spikes. The glycemic index rates how quickly one specific food will increase blood glucose. Most low-carb diets allow low glycemic foods and ban medium and high glycemic foods. What these diets tend to ignore is a food's glycemic load that takes into account how much carbohydrates are in a food. A food's glycemic index and glycemic load depends on how the food is prepared. Comparing the glycemic index and load of boiled white and sweet potatoes reveals sweet potatoes can increase blood glucose faster than white potatoes. Comparing the nutrition value of white and sweet potatoes show they have about the same amount of calories per serving. Both have almost no fat they're low in sodium, but sweet potatoes are a little higher in carbohydrates, having slightly more fiber and five times more sugar. Sweet potatoes also have less protein per serving. Sweet potatoes are higher in calcium, but provide less potassium and vitamin C. Another significant difference is that four ounces of sweet potato provides almost a day's worth of vitamin A. Another significant difference is that when cooked, some of a sweet potato starch is converted to sugar, whereas there is little or no change in a white potato sugar content. Sweet potatoes are also used to make high calorie desserts like sweet potato pie. No low carb diet would permit eating sweet potato pie. Refrigerating white potatoes like potato salad increases resistant starch, a type of starch the body does not convert to blood sugar. Increasing resistant starch reduces white potatoes glycemic index. Some takeaways are your overall diet is more important than any one food or food group. White potatoes and sweet potatoes are good sources of essential vitamins and minerals. Both are high in potassium. Depending how they are cooked, sweet potatoes can have a higher glycemic index than white potatoes. Cooking converts more of a sweet potato starch to sugar. And refrigerating white potatoes increases resistant starch, lowering its glycemic index. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating!